I'm going to show you how to make the DIY version for the force of nature instead of using these vials, which do work very good. But I use so much of this, I wanted a cheaper uh, option. So here's everything I need. Uh, of course, you need the unit, a container to measure your uh, vinegar and your salt into. And of course, your salt, your scale. Then uh, I put my vinegar in a spray bottle just to make it a lot easier. And a container to put your uh, final product in. So we're going to start out here. In my container, uh, you, I have a road on here so I don't forget. 0.71 grams of salt, 2.7 grams of vinegar. So make this easy here. Just put your uh, container on the scale, zero out the scale. Then uh, grab your salt, and I just grab a pinch. Normally gets me pretty close. Right there. Salt's in. And then I use this container here for my vinegar, and it's normally about three and a half squirts. Will get me at me my uh, 2.7 grams. Actually, I forgot to zero out the scale. Normally, I zero it out beforehand, but since I forgot to zero it out, now I need th a total of 3.4 grams. So there we go. There's, a, there's everything I need, which needs to go in this unit. But I have my water in here already, so just so I know I get the proper uh, amount of water. Then I'll just pour some of that in there, let it dilute. Uh, normally, I do a minimum of uh, 10 minutes to let it uh, all the salt to dissolve. Now, if I plan on using a lot of this, I'll make a whole bunch of these containers up so I can just keep on filling this unit to keep the cycle going, keep the machine running. It takes about 10 minutes to run a cycle. Then um, after it's fully dissolved, I just pour it back in here. See, like right now it's not quite fully dissolved. There's still a little bit of salt in the unit, but it, it'll still work fine. But uh, it's probably not the proper way to do it. Now this uh, recipe is slightly different than using these vials. When I check the pH from this, the, the mixture I make, my mixture is definitely a lower pH and the, also a much, much lower EC. But uh, for what I'm using it for, it seems to still work uh, perfect. I use it mainly in uh, hydroponics in, uh, to make the system sterile. So, and that'll take about 10 minutes to run. And basically that's all you need. So any questions, let me know. Pretty simple, not exact recipe, but it works. So. Have a good day.